Yes. Tell me, how can I help you? Sir, currently I am a pre-final year student from uh, Weller Institute of Technology, Bhopal campus, pursuing a dual degree in ANL. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, when I joined the campus, like uh, in, it's a uh, story in 2021, last like 21 to 22, 22 to 23, I did whole iOS development from zero to advanced. But as mm -hmm. soon as I became AWS Cloud Captain and uh, started participating in uh, community events, like I think you know ACD Pune, like AWS Community Pune groups. Right. right. Was, uh, so as two year, there I was two year, like I I helped them two year, like. Like I helped there for ACD Pune for conducting events and that. Then uh, currently I am a AWS cloud captain. Like we are only 113 captains in the whole world. And mm -hmm. I'm currently serving as a captain for second term. So uh, last year we organized a AWS student community day for in India, like in central India for Bhopal. Okay. Oh, but uh, as soon as I became captain, like my more interest becoming towards cloud, like uh, okay. I was told it's not for me because I'm not gaining interest in that. When mm -hmm. I saw like uh, how Docker works, how Ansible works, that's more interesting. Like, like oh, apun ko karna chahiye. Right. यहाँ पे अपन को नई नई चीजें सीखने को मिलती है रोज. Like हम यहाँ कुछ नया नया सब आयोजन रूप में क्या वही रोज करना वही कोड करना. Correct. That's then I currently I know uh, all basics of Ansible, Terraform, Graphana, controlling, monitoring, Puppet, <laughs> and uh, Terraform, kya hai, AWS. Kya hai. So I know Correct. exact guidance how to apply that in interview, like how to create right, some right. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, since you are doing AIML uh, at course, right? Uh, yes. So AIML course and iOS development don't go. That's what you said, right? Mobile, mobile dev, right? So that's that's not something go hand in hand. I think because you are learning something else and applying that skill somewhere else. Yes, so sir. it's good that you have dev knowledge. You can do development if needed. That will be really helpful. Yes, but don't like don't put all your eggs in the in the development basket. That that this is the only thing I want to do. I would suggest if there is anything you can do on the AI ML machine learning, even that will excite you more than uh, uh, this basic uh, iOS or, or any Android development. DevOps and cloud is anyway uh, is, is hot and will always be uh, slightly premium to full stack development or, or just dev work. Uh, what else I can uh, suggest while, while these uh, cloud captain and a lot of such titles can be useful. Uh, try to get the best out of it. Now, the best out of it is not sometimes conducting events. The best of this could be speaking at that event. Yes, the... sir. I, I spoke in one event. Uh, there is a one in Pune, one company called Singenta. I, I think you know that Israeli company. I spoke there also. They know I have some that. stocks as well. <laughs> so, uh, 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 what other thing I would suggest? Speak up, speak on these events rather than gathering the crowd and managing the crowd and marketing for them. Uh, the second thing could be you you can join something like community builder or AWS community builder program or uh, through such public uh, uh, appearances and. I don't know in Cloud Captain do if they provide certification vouchers or not. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, compared to AWS Community Builder, uh, this time I got chance to become AWS Community Builder. But I already AWS Captain, so it's not like managing two sides. But for AWS Captain, we can uh, do anything. Like we can give a hundred percent free voucher, like from uh, associate level to professional level to students yes. or anywhere in the community, like yes. that. Yes, so that those are some of the good things about such programs. Try to yes, understand sir. what you should be extracting from uh, such events, yes, and uh, don't be uh, like uh, just a marketing guy for AWS or or uh, Docker or anyone. So get the best out of it. Get vouchers for yourself. Uh, get learning materials, official ma materials from them. Uh, uh, any any courses that you think are quality content, get get those sort of things. 
and uh, if if they offer some slack or some other program access then through them try to find a good mentor or somebody you can frequently call and talk and then get motivation and get some industry idea those are some of the good things in such programs uh, don't get too distracted by the uh, by the titles and by the uh, achievements uh, get the best out of it and uh, yeah i would suggest focus more on because you have time focus more on the machine learning ai and uh, the the area that will keep your career longer for and relevant for a longer period of time devops and cloud is your second uh, bet then obviously you know a bit of dev work so that that always is there no sir but i want to become uh, like i want to now do my career in cloud and devops sir, because okay. that's I that's decided... absolutely fine that's absolutely fine yes you start with devops and cloud over a period of time what i have seen a lot of dev devops and cloud uh, guys eventually go into a bit of data machine learning ai so that transition will happen automatically you don't have to make an effort uh, even for that so you you start with devops and cloud what interests you uh, relate it to the industry use cases what companies are doing and how it's used do slightly slightly complex uh, projects not just basic pipelines and basic stuff just a little complex little complex is like uh, suppose like uh, i have to deploy three tier application on aws cloud and add services like ansible controlling monitoring tools yes. like ansible and terraform like yes. that and yes that like that kind of thing in this make sure the application you are selecting is not very basic application Uh, make sure the application you are selecting has a database assigned to it sometimes people just deploy something in the private subnet and like an nginx uh, container and then that makes them happy but nginx container by default will not have a database in real industry uh, you will have some sort of data attached to uh, the application so how that is uh, that is maintained so make it that slightly complex once you do some project create an architecture diagram take feedback from people how you can make it slightly more complex or slightly more not complex but industry relevant so that you can you can easily say that yes this is useful in the industry uh, sir so till time i completed a three aws certification one is aws cloud practitioner one is awesome. a developer and one is a solution architect cool cool that is so nice to hear a uh, lot of people take ages to do them i hope you are not uh, uh, doing through dumps and all you are doing it through material and you are following and understanding the concepts yes sir uh, because we have access for like uh, we have slack access we have aws educate full free access and edw so we are preparing mm-hmm. from that like cool 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 and in my Good industry luck. we have uh, Uh, one academic subject called uh, AWS Cloud Practitioner and uh, one is Solution Architect. We have to study for that that semester also. That also helped me to do that. Cool, cool, cool. That is so nice. Uh, yep. Uh, keep working hard. Uh, you are already on the right track. Uh, do reach out if you need any um, other guidance in future. Sir, I want to know one thing about your course that uh, mentorship and internship only. I think I it's just... too early. It's too early uh, for uh, you. One, one, they are expensive. Second, they are. I don't want you to because you are studying, right? You have your education also going on. No, Or sir. Like I have to prepare. Like, prepared, like uh, now my academics are over. Just I have to prepare for placement and all that things. Now academics But, is over. I have nothing to okay. do with them. Okay. Okay. So um, you can look at uh, them. I can. Uh, we can talk about them. So they are usually. Uh, not i i don't suggest any uh, college students and all to do them right away uh, i would suggest if you have some some more experience just a little bit more uh, when you have built the basic projects yourself then it would be right uh, time for you to uh, consider them one thing uh, last question from my side uh, for like is for freshers is devops career looks like good like will freshers get devops jobs in industry i think you have covered it because you are also bringing that dev uh, angle to your uh, career so i i won't say that the dev part may get you 
a job without having DevOps and cloud experience that much. Direct a DevOps and cloud experience may not give you a job straight away. But because you have dev experience, you may, you may get a quick entry or um, easy entry into the industry. But yes. the promotions and the, the future enhancements or anything in, in your career will be impacted by DevOps and cloud. Your initial entry, I think your dev experience can, can help you there. But yeah, your college is reputed uh, college. You you should have placements and all those things. So it, it shouldn't be uh, such a challenge. So you can focus on but, your uh, uh, DevOps and cloud skills. But, but in your also, polygon on-campus placements are like uh, uh, for specific role, like for cloud role, not so much companies are coming. But last correct. two days, uh, only MediaTek and uh, uh, one is company starting from, yes, that only two companies came for cloud work. And that only hiring from not our campus. They are hiring from Vellore campus and Chennai campus, not from our mm -hmm. Bhopal campus. That's a drawback right. for our North campus center. What sort of packages uh, these companies offer uh, for entry uh, level? The, the highest package uh, for last year got... Average uh, is better. Highest can be um, outlier. Average is in, in uh, 20 lakhs, 27 lakhs. Really? Yes, sir. And the highest one is a 60 lakh, the Palo Alto. Awesome. The Apple came, BlackRock came, Starling came, that Tesla one company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm uh, some surprised. Uh, 27 is quite a big average number if you say that. Uh, that to me is a big surprise. But sir, companies are coming. Uh, but how they are hiring like only two people's one people. or two people from the campus, yes. Not yes, like yes. Uh, before COVID, like uh, 50 people, 60 people. Like that. Mm, cool, cool, cool. Yes, I can understand. These companies obviously will have limited um, hiring uh, numbers. They are not, now. Um, all the US uh, such companies will not hire like Infosys, TCS kind of thing. So they're different model, but yeah. Because the uh, reason why I'm connecting with you now, sir, like I'm following your YouTube channel since like one uh, two months and I continuously watching your interviews, like all, uh, how, we, <laughs> how we got your job, how we got, and uh, the way, you know, you are explaining to students now, it's like a star approach, how to tell answers in star approach, step by right. step. That's step thing step. we have to do, what will happen, then what will not happen after we do that, like, you know, mm. God, awesome. You are on the right track. You are going uh, correct. So, yeah. Keep trying it. Uh, yes. And one right. last sir, We have yes, to sir, tell me. Yeah, yeah, uh, quickly, last, yes. I, last week I visited Pune. Like, uh, my mama is in BNY Mellon. He's uh, like in senior DevOps engineer. So, I mm -hmm. visited my MasterCard office also there. Uh, Dutch okay. Bank office. Because my connections are there. Okay. So, their engineering lead told me that Dev, Dev is there, but... Uh, most of the projects are now shifting towards cloud, like Azure and yes. uh, AWS. Correct. Like in their whole company, a few teams of iOS developments are there, like uh, 10 to 15 teams of iOS development. Correct. And the DevOps team and AI teams are like all full fledged. Who has a 25 mm -hmm. years of experience, 30 years of experience, people are there. Correct. Who are writing a TFL just uh, uh, solving lead core questions. Hmm. That's correct. Like, for example, um, the, the iOS or, or Java or .NET, there would be some teams in the company working on these technologies. Even, even a Java, .NET or Android or iOS team will need a DevOps and cloud engineer. So DevOps cloud engineer will be there in uh, pretty much all the uh, teams, agile teams that are working in the organization. So it's a, quite a big number nowadays. Uh, then there are central platform teams and SRE teams and all that. So this entire uh, number becomes quite a big. That's why it's it's super hot because it it's not just uh, fancy work that they do, but also a, a huge number also. So you have more jobs and good pay, a good premium paying jobs as well. well sir, I think we are at the end of time, sir. Uh, are yes, you we'll, for we'll... I'll publish this uh, shortly, um, maybe uh, next week, early next week. And yes, I sir. have another uh, 
guy waiting for uh, for discussion so all right good luck sir thank you sir have a nice day you too have a good one bye